Hey guys, this is Hayden, and there's a few videos that um, I want to react to, and I'm pretty sure you can see the name right here. But anyway, so this guy has made rant videos about Street Fighter 6, and I gotta tell you, Street Fighter 6 is one of the newest Street Fighter games. It's, it's the newest Street Fighter game that, that we got. And I will tell you this, Street Fighter 6 does have flaws, I will say. But what this guy does is he goes off ranting about the game, and it's pretty funny. And it's his reasons are so stupid. It's so stupid, and you're going to know why. He made two videos about Street Fighter 6 right here. Don't bother buying Street Fighter 6, and here's why. Angry rant. <laughs> That <laughs> thumbnail, oh my god, that thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Don't waste your time with Capcom IDs. It isn't worth it. Okay, first of all, I have I don't know what problems that you're having, but I will tell you this right now. Um I didn't have any problems getting into Street Fighter 6. I didn't have any problems. Now, now I won't tell you this. And um, by the way, guys, I played the demo. I played the demo version of the game, game to um, see just the just to experiment, like um, what the gameplay is like. And honestly, and honestly, it's not the game. It's just you. It is a learning curve. So I'm gonna, we're gonna react to two videos here. We're, first one we're gonna react to, don't bother buying Street Fighter 6 and here's why. And that thumbnail just proves everything right there. Hello, YouTubers. <sighs> Hello, YouTubers. <sighs> hello, hello, hello. This is, I want to talk about Street Fighter 6. That's exactly what he does every time. And um, in case you're wondering why I'm here on YouTube, I just want to pop on here and say, do not buy Street Fighter 6. The game sucks. The game will not let you play online because Capcom, or should I say Crapcom, Wants you to create a Capcom ID in Wait, what? order to play online on fucking Street Fighter fucking six. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. First of all, that's how gaming is nowadays. Um, that's how online gaming is. Like, you have to create a an account in order to play an online online game. Like. I literally had to create a, a Blizzard account in order to play um, Overwatch 2. I literally had to create an account in order to play Overwatch 2. And and was it annoying? Yes. Was it impossible? No. It, it was not impossible. So, so um, it is really, really stupid that um, you're getting upset over, over a... Like... Over a um account ID creation, like it is a yes, it is irritating, but it's not hard to uh, it's not that hard to do. Like I I am a created an an account to play Overwatch two, and I didn't have very much problem with it. Um, I didn't create a, an account for Street Fighter six because I'm only playing the demo right now. I'm playing the demo right now. Um just to try it out and honestly I can't, I don't really have much of, of, of an opinion on that game myself 
but but I made a video on um, a Street Fighter Six. So if you guys um um want to watch that, you can. It's on my channel. But but um yeah, creating an account is not that hard to do. Yes, it is annoying, but you getting mad o over that is is I'm not gonna make it any better. Are you fucking? <laughs> Street Fighter 4, the end of past street online Street Fighter game. There was no need to create a Capcom ID in order to play online on a fucking online Street Fighter game. I just love it when he gets to this point and then he talks really fast like this. That is so funny. Oh my god. This is bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Do not buy Street Fighter 6. The game is a waste of money. Like I said, Capcom wants you to create a Capcom ID for you to play online on Street Fighter 6. What is the point in creating a Capcom ID when you can use your PlayStation 5 ID, PlayStation 4 ID, your Xbox Series X and Series S ID, and your PC ID? Okay, so your console I your account console, your console account for that matter, ID is different than a gaming ID, than the video game ID. One, um, PlayStation, you have your own PlayStation account ID, but in games like Overwatch 2, you have to create a Blizzard account, which is completely separate. So Street Fighter 6 is exactly different than your um, main console ID. I'm actually, I am actually, I am not surprised that, um, that um, uh, you don't even know, know that at all. Your console ID is way more different than than your Overwatch 2 or your mm -mm, ID. Yes, there are some games that you can use your console ID on, like Fortnite. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, well, no, wait, actually, no. Um, basically, um... Your um gaming your game ID is different than your main account. Your main account is your main um hub where you play games on. Blizzard, Epic Games, and and the list goes on are entirely separate. Are entirely separate from your own, uh, from your main PlayStation or Xbox account ID. So you, so this goes to show that you don't know anything about that, and, and the fact that you're just you're just going off on that <laughs> is extremely hilarious. There is no need for a Capcom <laughs> ID. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it when he screams on top of his wand and then he pauses and then he calms down a bit. That is hilarious. That never gets old. What is he flying fuck? <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Um there's nothing wrong. Um there's nothing much wrong with Capcom. You just don't know anything about gaming. Because judging by this video, this just goes to show that you're not a real gamer. Which it's clearly obvious. Which it's literally obvious. Like your gameplays are literally not you playing the game. And you don't talk in your streams. You don't... You don't show evidence. You don't use a face cam, so... 
not talking in, in your live streams, like, that is, that is pretty ridiculous. Like, I talk in my streams, but when I do long plays of games that I done myself, like if I do a full, if I live stream a full game that I done in the past into one stream, which I have done that a few times, I don't talk in that stream, but you can, you guys can clearly tell that it was my gameplay because I made it myself. I, I made... I made my own gameplay of that game. So you can clearly tell it was me playing the game even though I don't do any commentary. It's clearly my own creation. With you on the other hand, you don't show any evidence that it's you really playing the game. You don't prove anything. So that just clearly tells that you do you you every stream that you do is not your own it's not your own gameplay because you don't show evidence you don't show evidence that you play the game you don't have a face cam you don't talk at all you're just it's total silence like and it doesn't make any sense it is not your it's not your own creation you're literally live streaming and someone else's live stream that they did to make it look like you play the game, which is actually really stupid and lazy. And that's not all. Um, since Street Fighter Six, and and also on top of that, a bonus for doing that, you're never gonna learn by. By watching videos, you're not going to really learn by watching tutorials or all that. You can watch tutorials to get an idea on like on what you're supposed to do, but not unless you play the game yourself as you go. You're never going to learn anything unless you try it for yourself. You can get pointer. You can. You can get a walkthrough on it, but you're never going to learn by streaming someone else's gameplay and claiming it's yours. So I find it very hard to believe that your live streams are really you playing the game. That's something that you don't prove. You don't use a, you don't use a face cam. You don't, you rarely use a mic. So... So, um, uh, what do you expect people to think, right? What well, when you play online on it? I am not going to live stream Street Fighter VI. I'm not going to waste my time with it. I will make my return <laughs> to Street Fighter V. <laughs> the look on his face. Oh my god, that was funny. He really thinks that talking like that, like, I'm gonna return to Street Fighter V. Like, <laughs> you're really trying to be scary right there, but you're not. You're literally, it's like you're trying to be, it's like you're trying to be scary, but you're not. And by the way, I can make a way better impression on that than, than you can. Because I am good at it! Literally good at it! Now deal with it! So yeah. I'm really good at it! Yes! <laughs> so yeah. So you talking like that, it takes a long time. I would say it takes experience. Street Fighter 6? <laughs> Capcom? <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. This is so funny. So anyways, longtime Street Fighter fans who, and, la and, and longtime Capcom fans in general, don't waste your time on, on Street Fighter 6. Don't waste your time with it. Don't, bo don't bother buying it. It isn't worth it. It's not worth wasting your money. 
Oh, please. There's a demo. Everybody can try the game before they buy it. You saying that don't buy this game is not going to stop people from actually wanting to buy the game. There's literally a demo. Like, you don't have to tell people to not buy this game because there's, because there's literally a demo of Street Fighter VI. And that's... I'm playing the demo. I play the demo myself. And... I didn't ran into any problems myself. I will say my only complaint that I have is... The controls can be a little bit weird. The controls does feel a little off to me. I don't know if it's just me, but I think... I do know a few people have, have had the same... Comp similar complaint as I did. But with me... I don't let that discourage me from wanting to keep playing. Like, I play the game, I actually take my time on it, I actually learn the game, and if I still cannot get good at it, then I'll just stop and I'll just, I'll just leave the game. So you making this video going off over a new game that just came out, is not proving your point. There have been games that came out unfinished or broken. Like Overwatch 2 came out buggy, came out it came out unfinished, but Blizzard fixed Overwatch 2 and it's now playable. Sure, I don't play Overwatch 2 all that much, but I don't play Overwatch 2 all that much anymore these days because of other games that I'm doing and I'm playing currently, but but Overwatch 2 got fixed. You can't just assume that a game is not going to be good when it comes out because usually usually there's usually a game comes out unfinished anyway, but there's updates that fixes and and improve the game. Sure, some updates don't make the game any better, and it doesn't, and it don't really improve anything like like we're expecting. But but as long as the developers are at, are at least attempting with the updates, then then there's not much problems. Sure, it's annoying, but like at least the developers don't give up entirely unless. Unless if they're just really stupid or really, or really dumb and don't even know what they're doing, then yes, they'll give up. But, but like there are so many gaming companies that releases games and they literally struggle on with launch. Like when the game launches, the game doesn't come out fully. Like fully finished. Like with Mario Strikers Battle League, that game came out with barely any content. That game came out with barely anything, but Nintendo gave us free updates, added some characters, gave us some stadiums, and it made the game slightly better, but there's still more that um, um, Nintendo could um, do us with the game. So you getting mad over this is not going to solve anything. Give a PS5, get Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown, <clears throat> get Dragon Ball, the PS5 version of, of um, um <clears throat> the PS5 version of Dragon Ball <clears throat> in the future, with an impre with an, that will, which will have an improved net code, uh, an improved online server, with less input delay. Don't waste your time with anything Capcom related because Capcom on today wants you to create a Capcom ID in order to play, needed to play online, and that is fucking stupid. <laughs> um, again, again, it's not just Capcom that does that. Blizzard does that too. Blizzard, Activision. It's not just Capcom, so. So either I'm going to deal with it, deal with it or don't play it.
your choice. Man, I used to be a huge fan of Capcom. I loved Capcom. I loved the Street Fighter series. And I'm still a fan of Capcom to this day. I mean, I mean, I do like some of the Mega Man games. Um, I played some of the Mega Man games over the years, and I played, I played the Capcom fighting games. Some of them, I think Marble versus Capcom, and the fighting games. I played a couple of those, and and I enjoyed, I and I enjoyed them. want you to create a Capcom ID in order to play online on Street Fighter 6? Well, that's how online... That's how online works. That, that's how online games work. You have to create an, an um, online ID in order to play online. Sure, it is annoying, but it's really not that big of a deal. Sure, I struggle with it. Again, I have struggled with it, but but later on, I still attempted. But later on, I eventually got got in. So so I I think that so the judging by your reaction to this, <coughs> you. Clearly, never even play the game yourself, and you are obviously live streaming someone else's gameplay and claiming that it's yours, like I just mentioned. And it's so obvious that it's not really you playing the game. So at the same time, there are people that are not going to believe you at all. Like um, anything that you say about video games, because you never played, you never even played, you never really played Street Fighter at all. Like you claim that you do, but but um, you can't hide anything. You can't you can't hide anything. Like like um, if people are gonna see are gonna see your live. We're gonna know when you upload. They're know when you're what game you're playing or what game you're so-called playing and you're gonna like be like okay it's like this guy is playing but it's not but he's not talking hmm like if you say that you're playing the game then why aren't you talking like if you're gonna do a live stream and you're not going to talk. How are other people going to expect that it's really you playing the game? They're going to be like, hmm, hmm, he's doing a live stream, but he's not talking at all. I kind of find it very hard to believe that he's really playing the game. I don't think it really is him playing. See, like, that's that, that's the biggest problem. You, you get mad over these games, but yet... It's like you never play them to, to begin with because you don't show evidence that it's really you. You don't use a face cam. You don't show the controller up to the camera to approve that it's really you playing the game. You don't show evidence that, that you're really playing the game. So you don't use face cam. You don't, you rarely talk. So, what do you expect pe people to think? You have got to be effing kidding me. <laughs> Capcom, bite me. <clears throat> wow. And he just ends it right there. That's hilarious. Anyway, guys, this is just a random video. Now, let me know what you guys think of this. I really think it's hilarious and pathetic. I think it's pretty stupid, but it is hilarious. Um, 
So, let's see. Let's see. Thanks for letting me know. I saved my money. I like SF4 and 5. Um, I find that very hard to believe that that Erica, oh God, I'm not gonna even say the whole the whole other name. I'm just gonna say Erica. I find it very hard to believe that this is a real person. Same with James. Like, thanks for letting us know about this. I appreciate it. And yeah, you can read that to yourself. I find that very hard to believe that those are legit people. They might be bots from TikTok or whatever but anyway guys i want to thank you so much for watching this random random video i just i just enjoy making these reaction videos once in a while so yeah so yeah um if you're gonna if you're gonna do live streams at least practice games before you do them and actually put effort and time into it and don't stream someone else's live stream and um, acclaim it is yours like that is that is i'm not going to get you anywhere that's not going to make you good at games so yeah